Do you like to draw deer? I like to draw deer, and that's what we're going to draw today. I've drawn deer in many pictures, and I've learned some things, and I want to pass those things on to you about drawing deer. The deer is a graceful animal, especially when it's running. But it's also graceful and it's beautiful when it's standing still. In today's program, I want to give you some tips that I've learned, some things that people have taught me about drawing deer. There are steps and order that we go through. The deer is not hard to draw. Whether you're drawing any of the members of the deer family, you could be drawing an elk, a mule deer, white-tailed deer, you can talk about that or read about it later. But we start the same way, regardless of what part of the family we're drawing. I like to start with an outline, just a basic outline of the body. And then we add some shape to it. And as we add the shape to it, we think about the coloring, which will come next. And then finally, we end with coloring the deer, and you have a picture, something like you see now. Now I'm going to draw that picture for you here. And you can draw along if you wish, or you can watch and draw later and build your own picture. I want you to see how I start the standing deer, and then we'll have running deer over the top. About here, and down on the right side of my paper, I'm going to draw a standing deer. So what I'll do is lightly make the outline of a body just lightly. And it'll be something like this. This is the deer's body. The neck will be up here, not shaped yet, only positioned, only placed. And in this case, I think I'll have the deer looking right at us. And then down here, we'll have a leg. And the other far away front leg can be here. We get to the back leg. We draw like this. And the far away back leg can be like this. And the tail. Now you see we're beginning to not only get an outline, but to get some shape. And it's not really hard. You should know something about the deer. The upper part of the leg is a lot thicker. And down here, it's rather thin. From the knee joint down. On, that's true in the front leg. It's also true in the back leg. Now if I'm looking at the deer's head, and the deer's head is looking at me, then I will see two large brown eyes up here, like that. And I'll see a dark black and brown nose. Top of the forehead and the deer has rather large ears. Something like this. And if it's a white-tailed deer, underneath the head, you have a white spot. Now I'm ready to refine and shape. And I could be using another color here if I wished. But I wanted to show you the steps we go through. First, I started with the body. I added the legs, I shaped, and next, and finally, we'll add detail and we'll color. The hooves are very black and they always stand out, like that. And I need to get around here and shape this part of the head. Like 
that. Now I'm going to draw some running deer, deer in motion, and they'll look something like the deer you saw at the beginning of our program. They're very easy to do, and in, today I think I'll use the side of my crayon and make the body in one mark, then I'll add the head and I'll add the legs. So if you're using a pencil, you could use the side of your pencil. If you're using crayon, you may break them or save your broken crayons and use the side of the crayon. Let me find a, a crayon here about this color. Now up here, you see I have this crayon? It's broken. I'm going to make a mark up here. Then I'll show you the mark I make. See that mark? Now I can make it a little longer. That doesn't look like much, but to me, that's going to become the body of a deer. Over here, I'm going to make the mark again. I'll go back and make this in longer, so they're about the same proportion. I'm placing something on the paper, and that's important to an artist, to make a decision about where you're going to place things. And one more here, if we have space right here. Now, as I said, each one of them can become the body of a deer. Let's go back to this one and watch. I think I'll add now here. I'm going to add the neck. I'm going to add the head and the tail. And I start reshaping. So the deer's now in motion. And I've added the other parts. And if I'm using a pencil, I'll turn it when I want to get detail. Like this. And that square rectangular a rectangular color that I started with now seems to disappear or rather adjust itself into the shape of the body. Not hard, is it? Now as I move to the next one, I'm going to do the same thing. Now the only difference in these is that the deer is in different position. Here this deer may be a little larger which means what? It means the deer is closer to us, tells the eye. And there's no detail. If you look very closely at this, it wouldn't look like much. It's the total picture that we're going to see. There's another position. And if we go over here, these are all doe or female deer. They don't have antlers or horns on them. But we could easily add some. Because really, the only main difference in the male and the female is the antlers. So, let's make a buck or a male deer out of this one. And we have one more over here. We could do this all day. See how they become graceful moving animals. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. But you can do this. Notice I'm using the body. Now I'm adding the heads and the arms and or the limbs, the legs.
Now let's look what we have. Running deer. Started out with the body. That was solved. We reshaped it. We added front and hind legs. We turned them into different positions. You have the beginning of what could be a picture. Down here, I could add my cabin, house. Up here, we could have stars in the night. Later, we could add color. Some shadow. And it's something you all can do. And I like to do it because you get an effect that tells you what you want, the motion and the rhythm, without an awful lot of work or overwork. And would I have time to come back and finish this picture, Rudolph? And you've had a chance to see standing deer, very loosely drawn, certainly not complete, but everything there. And if I need some black or darker here, I would darken the eye, the tail. And notice that the deer, when he's standing, the tail's down, but when they're running, the tail is up. That's a signal. The deer uses it as a signal. That warns other deer of danger. So you always see the tail up like that when a deer is running. Try that. Start with the side of your pencil and crane. And then add the feet and the head in different positions and you get a rhythm going along there. It's pretty nice. Now, good way to leave you a friend of mine who came to visit us and he's looking for some reindeer to help pull his sleigh. Maybe you can draw some reindeer for him and help him out because reindeer are getting scarce.